Hi everyone, it's Raleigh, and today I'm opening up the Lego Maze. I've been waiting to do this till I had a day where I could relax and enjoy it. This is two of my favorite things, Lego, and puzzles or mazes. And this is based on, I had a wooden version of one of these when I was younger. Some of you may have too, it's like a tilt table puzzle, you work a ball through a maze. Um, so I was so excited when I saw a Lego version of it. And it's kind of neat because it's a two-in-one because you can also use the top as a play surface as well. So I'm pretty excited. And this this set cost me about $90 Canadian. So, I mean, it is a little pricier, obviously, than some Lego. About the size, about the same price as kind of a, a medium to large place, other play set that you might get with characters. So, But I think it's worth it because, of course, you get the, the game to play as well. So here it is, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna open this all up and I will be right back. Here we are, so I've sorted all my pieces. Uh, everyone has their own way of doing Lego. I like to sort everything, so I've done that. You can see the little bowls in the background. It took a little while, because there's a lot of pieces. So let's have a quick look at the uh, instructions that come with it. <laughs> So, oh, and one of the other neat things with this is it comes with this tool, which I've never seen, but it's a tool for kind of breaking the Lego. Well, not breaking them, but um, pulling them apart is the better word for it. Um, and then, of course, it's got your standard instructions. So each page has a list of the parts you'll need and then how they go together. So I'm going to show you my progress along the way. Here's the finished product. I think it looks fantastic. It took me about three hours to put together, but I was watching a movie, kind of taking my time with it. Really cool design. So a couple things I want to show you guys. The first is there's a black box at the back here, and you take that out if you're gonna be using it as a maze, and then there's this corner piece, and then this box that comes out of the other side, and this box is really clever because this is where you store the little balls that you use for the maze, which I think is great because then when it's not in use, they don't get lost. Now, if you're wondering about the black piece I took off, that's just there to stabilize it so that if you want to just use it as a play surface and not want it to tilt, you just put that back underneath there. So this is like the traditional game. So each of those little gears turns the table a different way. And the goal is, well, the way it works, you put your um, ball on the green spot and you want to get it over to the red one with out it falling into the black spot like I just did. <laughs> and in the traditional wooden version of this, the balls fall through a hole and then come at the bottom again. And this is great for hand-eye coordination. <laughs> uh, but I think probably one of the best things about this is the different options for the boards. I want to show you guys, first, that, that lifter separator uh, tool it comes with is fantastic. It came in handy because I had a few missteps along the way. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys, this is what it might look like if you just want to use the top as a play surface. And I think towards the end of the video, I'll do one of those. But the booklet also shows you different designs for different levels of mazes from simple all the way to advanced. But of course, the great fun in this is you could design your own. The set comes with really cool pieces, but you can use your own Lego as well and come up with any kind of board that you want. So I'm gonna get my separator out because I think I'm gonna do the farm themed design that it comes with. So I've got my other pieces from the set. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be back. Before I put the new top in, I thought I'd show you guys kind of the inside of it. As I said, this is a really neat design. It's got gears and levers in it. There's two little pins on the side that hold the inner, um, the inner square there. And so for young ones too, it's a great kind of lesson in um, you know, physics and design. And here is my adorable, I think it's adorable, little farm <laughs> design. And this is one of the ones that comes in the booklet. So it's got little farmhouses. Um, up in the corner there, there's like a water mill. And these just slide, um, slide into this center square. Just line it up, there we go. So pretty easy to interchange. And again, if you wanted to use this just as a playset on top, you would just put the black box back and the box with the pieces and then it won't tilt at all. But you could also use these designs or any design you want as a maze game too. 
So overall, I think this is a fantastic set. I think for um, around $90, it's an excellent value. It's really fun to put together. Um, it's challenging, but not overwhelming. And it would be a good family project. And of course, you know, just the fun in having the maze to play with. You could have little competitions. You can design the best one. You can time yourself. So overall, I think this is a really fantastic set, especially for family. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon.